Arizona does have mandatory seatbelt laws, but for those on two wheels, safety has a different standard. Cronkite News reporter Sarah Haddis tells us how one state legislator is trying to make the roads safer for cyclists. That's right, Annika. Arizona has no regulated bicycle helmet laws or texting while driving laws, making cyclists more prone to accidents on the roadway. I spoke with one man who credits his life to his helmet. Avid cyclist Brendan Lyons has been hit by a car not once, not twice, but three times. The last one almost took his life. On the morning of my girlfriend's birthday, we went out for, for a ride. And uh, a distracted motorist at 45 miles an hour uh, took his eyes off the road and struck us in a bike lane from behind. I, uh, I don't remember, remember anything. The Tucson resident was hospitalized for a month with six fractured vertebrae, a fractured pelvis, and suffered a traumatic brain injury that forced him to relearn how to walk. Despite the long and painful recovery, he credits his life to one piece of equipment. I, mean, I, I, I greatly attribute this to save my life. Other Arizona cyclists haven't been so fortunate. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reveals Tucson has the second highest number of cyclist fatalities per million people. Phoenix ranked fourth. Numbers that hit home for Karen Wilson. My son Daniel Wilson was 30 years old when he was killed on his bicycle. And my husband, he is just mad. He lost his son. He had plans to retire and he wanted to go um, work with his son. Sorry. <laughs> and we thought it would just be different. It was, it's plan B. State Senator Steve Farley has introduced multiple bills to improve safety on the road. He's tried to ban texting while driving, and in 2014, he introduced legislation that would have required cyclists under the age of 18 to wear helmets. Neither bill reached the floor for a vote. They generally don't get heard because it's hard for a Democrat to get a bill passed. This is as nonpartisan issue as you can get. Vice Chairman of the Senate Transportation and Technology Committee, Republican Karen Fan, says that bike helmet laws have not been passed because the Arizona legislature prefers fewer laws putting responsibility on the people. For those uh, who are adults, it's, it's, a more, it's a more tricky issue because that is a situation where if people choose to take their own lives in their hands, it's a bad decision but it's one that maybe they have the right to make. As one of 29 states without a youth helmet law, safety advocates say education takes on even greater importance. At a recent Boys and Girls Club bike giveaway, Phoenix police officers and firefighters gave out new bikes and helmets and taught proper bike safety skills. You gotta protect your brain. Uh, really hard to fix your head. Uh, we can fix your arms and your legs with casts and everything, but when you hurt your brain or you, you damage it in any way, uh, but some, sometimes it's permanent. If you're wearing that helmet or something, it's going to protect you. That is the message Brandon Lyons preaches. He also hopes Arizona will do its best to protect cyclists through future legislation. A 2016 study by Australian statisticians Jake Oliver and Prudence Creighton found that helmet use reduces a cyclist's chance of suffering a head injury by 70% and reduces fatal head injuries by 65%. In the Broadcast Center, Sarah Haddis, Cronkite News.